Hello folks and welcome to Chikchuka. In today's episode we're making burek, which is the Algerian equivalent of spring rolls. Burek can be stuffed with many things, but today we're making chicken burek. We first need around 400 grams of ground chicken breast. Put some vegetable oil in a deep pan and turn the heat to medium. Now let's add the ground chicken. There is some beef from the grinder in my chicken, but it's fine. Spread the chicken on the surface of the pan. Add a couple of pinches of black pepper, some ginger powder, and a generous amount of salt. Now mix well until everything is combined. After a while the chicken will start giving off some of the moisture. Our goal here is to cook the chicken all the way through and get rid of all the liquid. Let cook for around 10 minutes uncovered and keep moving from time to time. Meanwhile, break up any big lumps with your spatula. Once you start seeing some browning and no liquid is left, turn off the heat, transfer the chicken to another container and set it aside. Take two small onions, cut off their tips, cut them in half and remove the skin. Make multiple cuts along the stem that are one centimeter apart. Turn it to the side and chop it up to thin slices. Turn the heat to medium and add some vegetable oil in the same pan. Add the onion we just cut, a small pinch of pepper, and a bit of salt. Mix it from time to time for around 5 minutes, until translucent and you can see some brown bits. And now is the time to add the chicken we've set aside. Grab a small bunch of parsley, roll it up into a tight pack and roughly chop it. Add the parsley to the pan and lower the heat, and mix until everything is well combined. Now to the last ingredient of the filling. Break a full egg in a bowl, separate the white of another egg in a second bowl, and add its yolk to the first bowl. Set the white aside and beat the rest. Turn off the heat and add the beaten eggs to the pan. The eggs will help make the filling more cohesive, so mix quickly before the eggs are cooked, until it's evenly spread. Taste the filling for saltiness, adjust if needed, and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. It's time to make the rolls. Let's first set up our workspace. Set the filling and the egg white nearby. We're going to need 10 brick sheets. The brick sheets are separated with glossy paper so they don't stick. These are similar to rice paper except they're made from semolina and flour. Carefully peel off one sheet at a time but don't worry too much because they're pretty sturdy. Lay the sheet flat on the work surface. First we'll start with good quality spreadable white cheese. I cannot stress this enough but only use cheese that tastes good on its own. We'll use half a triangle for each roll. Spread it to a narrow rectangle on the bottom of the sheet that's approximately 10 cm long and 5 cm wide. Add 3 tablespoons of the filling and try to spread it equally over the cheese. Hold both sides of the sheet and fold them. Make sure the folds are closer to the inside higher on the sheet because they tend to open up when you fold them. Now fold the lower part of the sheet over the filling and roll while keeping it relatively tight. Roll all the way up while keeping the side folds at the same distance. Once the remaining sheet is about the same size as the width of the roll, use your fingers to dab it with the egg white we've left aside and cut off the excess to have a straight line. Give it one last roll, press it down and make sure the seal is holding well. And there you have it, a nice looking burek. It's important to know that these rolls must be fried right before serving. So only take as many as you're gonna serve and keep the rest in the fridge for up to 24 hours. It's time to fry the rolls. Clean the same pan with some paper towel and fill it with oil up to half the thickness of the roll. Put a plate covered with paper towel nearby. Turn the heat to the maximum and give the oil some time to heat up. Grab your kitchen tweezers and use a piece of the sheet cuts to test the oil temperature. Place the rolls seal side first and make sure not to overcrowd the pan. Fry them for around 20 seconds on each side until a deep golden brown color develops. Once fully fried, give it enough time to drain and place it on the paper towel. Once drained and cooled off, let's move them to another plate and give them a taste. First, let's give them a generous squeeze of lemon and dip right in. The outside is crunchy and the inside is sweet and tender. This is exactly how I love burak. That's it for today guys, you can find the list of ingredients in the description as usual. Thank you for watching and see you for another recipe with me Moav.